Hey guys, good morning. So somebody actually requested Neo uh, for this week, and I think Moderna. So I, I'll do a double Neo Moderna request for this week. So Neo, uh, it actually did. I actually the last time I did, I guess, I guess I have it here. <laughs> the, the last time I actually did a, a TA for this was back on July nineteenth, which I think was on my live, um, and it basically it basically did exactly what I I projected it was going to. Um, let me see if I can add this a little bit brighter so you guys can see, but. Um, you know, back in the daily on the push, I said that it was going to go to 47 and then dump all the way down to 39, which is exactly what it did. Um, so that's perfectly great. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember putting these arrows, but and I'm not one to, to judge my TA and go against whatever I said before. Right. So there's a reason why I said that. And obviously it, it did exactly what I said it was going to do. Right. So I guess it was trading at 42 bucks. It ran up to 47 and then it dumped all the way down to like 39 40 bucks right went a little bit under but for the most part it definitely hit like 39 77 and then rebounded off and it's currently trading at 44 bucks so i'll take off these arrows for now um but i i, I think it's definitely headed back to 47 bucks um there is a gap here at 45 49 that did not get filled it got created back on july 22nd so you guys can see this gap immediately you guys know what i think about gaps gaps get filled 100 percent. gaps get filled well not 100 percent, but you guys know how i feel about gaps i think gaps are going to get filled like 95 percent of the time um and last week uh on friday we actually almost touched the the end of the gap right so we actually almost filled it we actually had it right we were about what like a couple of cents off to actually to actually fill that gap but again uh, you guys know that we have to fill the top of that gap. So for sure, I think next week we're going to be touching 45, 52. I mean, that's what, maybe like a, a couple of cents on the upside. So that is not too much of a big movement. Um, but I, I do think that NEO is going to be headed up. I think that minimum, I think that NEO sees $47. I need to see what happens to NEO at 47, if it's still bullish or not on the daily, uh, to see if it's actually gonna keep running. Cause I mean, look at this, we're actually losing a lot of bear momentum on, on the weekly. So I think in the coming weeks, um, if we do close bullish, I can definitely see NEO back at like maybe 50, $54, somewhere around that range. It looks like it might be might be recovering. Um, so if I had to take this, there's two things that I think can happen. I don't think it's going to dump, right? I don't think it's just going to dump on Monday. Um, I do think eventually it's going to fill this gap. So we can either fill this gap and then retouch 47 and then go all the way back down to 42 bucks. Or this gap can get filled and we, ju and we jump straight to 50 bucks. Um, I do think there's like a 95% chance this week we're going to see $47. Um, but I, we need to see how it actually performs around this support. Because look, I mean, sorry, resistance. Because look at all this resistance, right? Look at all this resistance. It, 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 look at how many wicks it threw up at, like, 46 bucks, right? One, two, three, four, five. So it threw five wicks up there. Um, so the only thing I can see for Neo right now is it, po it possibly going back up, filling this gap, which I think it probably will this week. It seems like it might will. It seems like it wants to fill it, right? So I think it might fill it this week. Um, and it closed, and it closed uh, two days over that forty-two dollar price range. So I think for the most part, there's like a ninety-nine percent chance we're gonna see forty-seven bucks. But again, I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna actually like beat that forty-seven dollar price range, or it's gonna go back down, right? So we need to see how it works on the support. I personally think it might actually uh, cross that forty-seven. Uh, just because Neo's been Neo broke uh, highs uh, last time, right? So you guys can see here we barely touched 46 the first time and tried to uh, wick to the upside. Here it actually broke, and the more and the more interesting part is the high here is 47.38, and the high here is 47.38. So we actually wicked the same price, right? I actually do think it's gonna take a wick, it's gonna take a wick a little bit higher here. So it either crosses 46.92 or whatever this price range is what is it, like 47 dollars i think it wakes up to like at minimum like 47.39 and then maybe it drops or it breaks it breaks to the upside and it keeps running to 50 dollars but again i think this is the only thing that can actually happen i really doubt that uh it's gonna like i, I unless some crazy crazy news happens where tesla dies and neo's like the only one it's gonna shoot like up like crazy but I don't think that's going to happen, right? But this is the only thing that can happen. And the only thing that I can really do as far as like TA right now is 
just tell you guys, I think there's like a 95% chance we're going back to 47 bucks. But from here, it, it's kind of hard to tell without looking at TA, right? I would, I would, I would, if I had to take a, like a guess, I'd probably be buying calls right now. And then as soon as it hits $47, I'm selling 100%. Um, and because I wouldn't know, right? I don't know what's going to hit support uh, resistance and then bounce all the way back down or break it and go up. I have no idea what's going to happen there. So I think as of now, for sure, like I said, I'm like 99% sure it's going back to 47 bucks, but I don't know if it's going to cross this price and keep running to 50 or rebound off this and come back to like 42 bucks. So I'll see you guys later.